hell. Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Shredder French and welcome to Until Dawn. This is a game that was probably released, I think in 2014, 2015. And it's basically a movie is how it's been described to me. It's basically like a slasher film. But the thing that intrigued me about it is I was told you can save everyone. I guess there's a lot of choices to be made, a lot of decisions to be made, and I'm shit at that. So I think we should just start the story and just take it, take it for a ride, you know? All right, let's go. Oh, the butterfly effect, okay. Tiny butterfly flapping as we say, ooh, devastating hurricane, okay. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Sure. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Or burn. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Got a little too dramatic, I guess. You know, for being as old as it is, it still holds up graphically in 2020. It's not too bad. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, bitch. Oh my God, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh, cruel? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Just because I don't like where this is going already. To everyone. Mike is my man. I am I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. You can tell it's the early days of like motion capture, like the face capture and stuff. She's here. At least in games. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Weekend. Josh. I wanted to point out that I was, I fully intend on saving everybody because that's why the game interested me. However, <laughs> with some of these developments, I do not know if I want to save <laughs> some of these people. Use the right sticks to look around at objects that can be, oh, that looks inspectable. Inspect that bottle. Press R2 to hold and pick up the bottle. Use the right stick to inspect it. Damn, you down this, bud? Jeez, Josh. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us Aww. all. Wait, I recognize him. See, I don't know really anything about this game. Uh, I This is my first time loading it up. Uh, but we'll see. What's this? That is also how I grab notes. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Winky face, Mike triple X. The winky face did not have to be sideways. Oh I just want to be clear. What <laughs> he had paper. He could have actually now. drawn like a wink. Never mind. I'm being too picky <laughs> about a game that's... And these guys are just teenagers, I think. Probably like what? College age? I don't know, they look college-esque. Maybe we should start with a little 
you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Don't know. Oh, there's a butterfly on her shoulder. What? That's not oh, foreshadowing or anything. Matt? Oh, he's recording. I'm sorry, This all got out Just a stupid prank. A very stupid prank. That's some rude shit. I'm pretty sure that's Hayden Penetier. So, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Hayden came in and said, Fuck you. Use the right stick to choose? Choose what? Wake Josh. Oh, I also have global stats turned on. I thought it was interesting. I wanted to see what people chose the most. Most people tried to wake Josh. So I'm gonna try to wake Josh. Cause I feel like that's the smart Josh. idea. Josh. Fuck. Okay. So nope, that was not the smart idea. Guys, there's someone outside. Yeah, it's a spooky terror slasher man. He's he's coming he's coming Anna. for my ass. What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just it a was prank, a... Han. It's just a prank, bro. It's just it's a prank. Around, it wasn't serious. It's you not how pink pranks work. Hannah. Yeah, that was a jerk move. Hannah. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. I'm inclined to agree with that. Press, oh god, no, QTE? Oh shit, okay, press the correct button. Oh shit. I'm not ready. Uh, I'm going the safe route. I see that most people took the fast route. I'm going the safe route. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm trying to save people right now. QTE? Got me a quick time event? Come on. Yeah? No. Okay, no QT. Oh, decisions, decisions. Follow the noise of the footprints. I would follow the footprints. Why? The, if the footprints are human footprints and she's the last person to run out in this fucking blizzard, you have to follow the footprints. That's the obvious choice. Oh, God. Sure they weren't hoof prints? Okay. Jesus fuck shit. That's my stripper name. <clears throat> It's just what people say when they see me at the strip club. Jesus, fuck, shit. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Stop, stop it. Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, that's cool. See, I don't play many PlayStation games that use the touchpad well. All right, so flashlight's on. I can't control it worth shit. Like, direct the light beam. Okay. Would love to, but like I also need the camera to cooperate with me a little bit here. Maybe. Hello? Animals! Okay. Hold L1 to walk faster. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, I want that. It's shiny. I want it. Oh. Is that a, like a totem? Oh. Whoa, 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 that was both of them dying. What? Wait, hold, hold the fucking, what? This is just a tutorial. I was not prepared for anybody to die in the tutorial. Except maybe my heart. I expected to be spooked. Constantly. Oh! Huh. That wasn't an animal. Animals! There was a dragon! <laughs> oh wait, Hannah. is that Hannah? Hey! Hannah. Hello? Come away from- is that a ledge? Come away from the ledge. Hannah. I just oh saw God, a thing in a crazy. totem. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. No, they're dicks. That is a serial killer. <laughs> That was an animal, I think. Animals! <laughs> oh, jeez. Hannah, get your ass up. Get your ass up. We running. Fuck the phone. We running. Q 
QTE event? I just, you know, re repetition. QTE event. Yeah, let's. Oh, mother fuck. No. No. What? That, that does not sound human, whatever that is. Oh, hey! Hey! No! There's there's something called the quick time event, Beth and Hannah. I can save you with the quick time event. Hold on. But there is a dragon. <laughs> Hold on! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that actually got me. Wait, you wanna help us? Drop Hannah or let go. Uh I'm so sorry. Oh, oh that was fucked up. Oh that was fucked up. I die anyway? So you either die together or you die separately after being a dick. So I was just a big dick. I thought I could save one of them. I thought, apparently not. Apparently that not that is not how this is gonna go. Hello. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I recognize him you too see, no a little one bit. Can change what happened last year. The past I guess? is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Oh, good. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game. How dare Every you break the fourth wall? Will affect your How fate dare you? And the fate of those around you. I'm really so, uncomfortable. You're really you close. Committed to commence with this game. I have. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? I guess. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Okay. Could you please pick up a card? Any I card? To look at the Not that card? On the side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So some of your words are slurring, Dr. Hill. I, I feel like you might be a little, uh, little tipsy, uh, like I want to be right now. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Like, I'm not scared. And it's not the scarecrow, it's just the way it's done. Like the, the sketchy... Sketchy kind of looks, it looks very aggressive with or without the scarecrow. All right, I put that shit down. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Make you feel. Uh, I was definitely uneasy. Like, I know the majority of people went that way, but man. Uh, what do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Um. It's not the scarecrow. Again, I, I'm pretty sure of if what it is, but see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I think it's just the way it's Is there something in the house? The call is coming from inside the house. Of course. It is in the house. How did I not see it before? And this thing in the house. Is it a lie? Yeah, probably. It's Frankenstein's monster. And is this threat human, or is there some other fear that you would like to talk to me about? Uh, it's definitely not human, whatever the fuck it is. Aren't you? Is that so? Yeah. Rather time for now, but I would like you to think about your unseen inhuman threat inside of the house and next time we will unwrap it together <laughs> that made me remarkably uncomfortable you more so than the the, the postcard or whatever that was 
Yeah, just just drink your tea, look out the window, just just hang out, you know. Oh, and okay. Oh, shit. See, we talked through it. Good job. High five. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on You're Hannah welcome. and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. Oh, there is shit. still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Wait, Something I'm sorry. The mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, oh, friends okay. and fans. All right, let's do that again. Yeah, get that camera right. All right. Mr. Well, Malik, do hello, it. Hello, friends and fans. Hey. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Why are we doing uh, this first again? First off, I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Woo! Ah! <laughs> so, that was um, let me just let you hype. know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. That your sisters are dead? I know. You're all probably worried about me. Uh, yeah. I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back. After yeah, why are we doing this? What happened last year. Yeah. Uh, I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that. Uh, all right. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. What? Is that a phrase? Is that thing? I see. I don't party that much. I I don't know if that's a fr is that an actual phrase people say? Do people just straight up say let's party like we're fucking porn stars? Because that sounds like a terrible time to me. That that just raises my anxieties a, a little bit too much. Okay, makes me a little bit more self conscious than I need to be. <laughs> oh man, that's cool though. Um, I think. I think it's gonna really lean into the horror movie stuff, uh, the slasher film stuff, because you get all like the ditzy characters, you get the dumb people, right? You get the jocks, you get the whatever. I'm expecting all of those kind of characters, and I'm expecting to probably be annoyed by it, because I tend to be when I watch those slasher films like Friday the 13th and everything, so... Man. Music is killer. I know I'm talking over it, but uh, those copyright strikes get a little too real, you know? Chapter 1, Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. Hope they said it, roll the credits. All right. How do you not see that? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> I would have heard that coming up behind me. I'd be like, motherfucker. Sam is Hannah's best friend. She's diligent, considerate, and adventurous. Hi. Someone there? Oh, God, that heavy breathing. Mm. Oh, I know you can't read that. It says path to cable car station. Oh, man. Maybe I'll just move myself. I don't know. Fuck it. You can use the right stick to move the camera. Yes, indeed, I can. What's this? Yes. The gates busted. Climb over. Chris. I don't know. My brain did not process that as English for a second. 
Uh, I did not see Chris. I thought I saw Anus, and I'm just gonna leave it there. Do with that what you with. Nope, safe. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Trying to save people here. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah, shit. I'm slow. I'm gonna- I know I'm gonna need to be faster. Climb it. And nice. And nice. I feel it. That's how I feel when I wake up every morning. Those are the exact noises I make. You can ask Holly. The heavy breathing is what gets me. Like it's in, like, it's fine through speakers, but in my ear, it's like super unsettling. I am not about it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Animal. Hi. You hungry? Huh? Of course. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I saw it. I saw it pop up. It said, don't move. I didn't move. There we go. Oh, my, I stopped breathing for a second and all I did was talk. If you're unsure what to do, you can press R1 to see your current objective. I read that out of order, but you get it. Current objective is head to the cable car station. Oh, shoot. I have to manage my relationships with people. Twins. No clues found. 1952. No clues found. Mystery man and the totems. Ooh, okay. Death, guidance, loss, danger, and fortune. And we have a death totem right now, which is the one that we saw with uh, Hannah and Beth. I thought that crow would get me and it would just be another animal moment, but... It wasn't. Oh, what the hell? Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. The tribes who once lived in these mountains. Oh, we built something on an ancient burial ground. An ancient Indian burial ground. That is like the one thing you don't do. Anyway, death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Lost brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. So I have to find all those totems. Oh no, I'm trying to do this blind. I can't look up a guide for this. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna stumble on them accidentally. Maybe. Probably not. I'm probably gonna miss every single fucking one. All right. Consider that totem grabbed and let me look at it. This is a guidance totem. Animal? <laughs> I guess. All right. Interesting. The future is uncertain whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. I guess. Chris, you here? It's his bag. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Is that Chris heavy breathing into my ear right now? Cuz I'm I'm not about it right now. Oh, his phone's going off. Nope, I'm not a nosy bitch. We closing that. Oh god! That was a butterfly effect thing? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Who, who did I die? Oh, hi, hi Chris. Has a crush on Ash Ashley. Uh, he's methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kinda amazing. What? Uh-huh. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. I don't know if it's gonna blow my mind, Chris. I really, I, I am under the impression that with you saying that, I am not going to have my mind blown. Well, um, Milgram Ve this. Victor, sex male, six right. two, Blackwood Pines, last seen nineteen ninety eight. Uh, wanted in connection with first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact BMPC or BPMC. Oh shit. Well, that's clue number one. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Shit, I have to do that too, I guess. <laughs> Any clues? My mind's not blown. Oh, I guess my mind is blown. Uh, she was like, yeah. Yeah. 
comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, I don't know. Have you ever met Josh's dad? Josh's dad is heavy fucking metal. He's like Grizzly Adams or something. Close enough. I'll try. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Oh, now I'm playing as Chris. Here okay. Goes. Oh, do I have to shoot? Oh, I'm not ready. Okay. A nice headshot. A nice headshot. A nice a headshot. A nice. A triple kill. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. That just happened? All right. Well, we shooting over here now. Boom! Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Really? Oh, do not give me the option to shoot the squirrel, because I'm not shooting the squirrel. Yep, we're gonna do this one. I can't even see those percentage points, but I'm not shooting the squirrel. <laughs> Oh god. Nice shot. Thanks. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, what? Hey, the butterfly effect good. gives me on, butterflies in my stomach the in the bad way. Like every time I do something, it's like butterfly effect. Like that squirrel's gonna come and murder your entire fucking family. <laughs> like I'm I'm not ready for the squirrel to come murder my entire fucking family. <laughs> oh my god. Well, all that dancing didn't warm you up, Chris? It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, it's fucking spooky and weird. It feels wrong. All came flooding back. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, super weird. Locked keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Oh, I have the key, though? Yo, sick. Sir, that door fucking unlocked, bro. After you. Oh, real gentleman. God, it looks terrifying, though. Like, the whole thing gives me bad vibes. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. I guess we... We walking. We examining shit. Blackwood Pines what Hotel and Sanatorium. I, no matter how I didn't say that right. Sanatorium. Mountain. Yeah, why would you do that? Why would that be a thing you do? Oh, I'm sorry. There's a sanatorium next door, bro. I'm buying the mountain and I'm building a house on it. Just, you know, light vacationing. What? Huh? And that's the house that we stay in. Wait, what? Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Sorry, is the cable car here? Is that what I heard? Did I hear the cable car? I don't think I heard the cable car. That's all I can examine. Nothing else is shiny enough. It's all fucking dark. Finally, you coming? No shinies. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. All right, walking into the car. Just like going to the prom. Is that what it is? Never went yeah. to the prom, by the way. Right. Fun fact. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I he was pumped. So excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell. But why, though? No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what, let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. 
but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Huh. Josh made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Or with somebody else. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, he said it. Roll credits. Okay, that's going to get old. <laughs> I'm going to say it a lot, though. Oh, God. What is that? <laughs> what is that face? Ah! That's the scariest thing so far. New people. Time to meet and greet. Jessica. I, I just... Oh, I am not ready for... I'm not ready for those tropes we talked about. What the hell? Oh, that actually didn't scare hey, me. I usually... Over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Sure. I held on to that button way too long. I thought she was just going to tap it, but then I held down the button and she just oh so, so did she. God. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I guess explain. I guess explain. I. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out. I'm in. Oh. Okay. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. We're I'm a place to agree to that. vacation if you're tired of all the nature well, and junk. Just, just saying. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. It looks terrifying to me, but it, I, it could be beautiful in the like daytime. Right where the cable car ends. Oh, the RBF is real. My God. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Oh, I'm not reading any of these. Okay, that's Emily. This is Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, great. This is going to be awesome. I'm so excited. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everything. Did I miss something there? Now. I feel like I missed something. I'm just walking. I feel like a regular party. I mean, the totems. I'm missing the totems. Ah! Animals. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. He's intelligent, driven, and... Persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> yeah, same. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Threaten? No, we're not going to start off that way. Michael. And 69% were with that option. I'm just so. going to lay it out. Otherwise, this is going to suck ass for everyone. Um, God. This is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. I don't either. I'm glad we're on the same page. 
Uh, bro. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What was that face that Emily just made? Hey, could you? She seemed way too happy. The rest of the way. The bags? Yeah. I already was carrying them. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. No, no, this, this is where, and this is how people die. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. It's the buddy Nobody's system. Steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I mean. I'm getting Why there. Why you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get <sighs> everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. I like Matt so far. Matt's okay. Everybody else so far, eh. Chris is doing okay. And then Sam, I think, is all right. But that's three out of how many characters? You know? And who's this? <sighs> Ashley. Okay. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Wait, and Chris has a crush on Ashley. That's perfect. Done deal. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Washington Lodge grounds. 11.32 p.m., I'm assuming that is. Uh, what am I missing? Oh! Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I knew I didn't like that. date on their big breakup. Uh, there are some people aren't who are oh! animals. <laughs> hey, whoa! Sorry there. Sorry oh that. god! I scare Just you? Louise, well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh! Oh my god! Hey, well. Man, that actually I'm got me. Like I, I, I feel, okay, oh, I got goosebumps from that. Oh, out? I don't like that. See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Matt, uh, it's broken. It's so broken. Yeah, it's kind of. Broken. It's like it's not, the it's most really broken it's ever been. What? For real? I'm like I kicked it down the mountain. It's broken. No, I really, really don't think this is no, something you should do. I'm restraining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just. Yeah, no. same. It's it's worst. Uh, sure. You say so. Should I have told him? Should I have told? Because I, as the player, know. I know. But should Matt know? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Alright, back at Jessica. It is ten minutes later. Read a book or check... Obviously, I'm going to check my phone. I like reading. I'm not going to lie. But I also read on my phone. So... Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> you did not just do that. Put Animals. Put where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Well, obviously I'm going to grab the snowball. Like, that's the strategy. I don't know why there was a snowball already made, but I'm grabbing it. I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, shit, shit, bitch. Oh! <laughs> Actual hey. headshot. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? Wait, what's with the music? This is not the right music. I'm gonna fuck his shit up. I need heavy metal. Oh, fuck. Dodge it. Was not ready for the QT. <laughs> Too busy making jokes. Oh, this is what that totem did earlier. This is the, 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 the bird. Hello? What? Come on. Wait, what's hey, the point? Mike. Oh, you got me. Right. No, nope. Okay. The music's still too, too sultry. Too. 
too provocative. Sometimes in doing nothing is the right thing to do. Me, it's, is it going to ask me to hit the bird? Because, again, with the squirrel, I'm not hitting it. Only 18% of people did it. Huh. Alright, yeah, you peek your head out. Because now, done for. Whoa. Get wrecked. What is happening? What is happening? Oh yeah. Oh more. Oh you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright. <coughs> my my. So are we calling it my favor then? Ugh. You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds Yeah, you didn't you hit you didn't even hit me once. Okay. I just wanna if we're keeping score, I fucked your shit up, Mike. Grab a snowball. Not kissing Mike. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get R E K T wrecked. Son. What am I gonna get? Well Wrecked? I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the No, line. the snowball was supposed yeah. to cool you down. Here, pretty breathtaking. <laughs> I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. That made me more uncomfortable than the postcard did. I'm just gonna put that out there. Don't like looking at that shit. Don't like feeling that way. Can we all be at the house? Are we all at the house now? I think we all made it. Oh, shit. Hi. Hello again. Hi. And how are we feeling? I'd be better if you turned on some of the, the lights. Oh, thank you. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's okay. go a little bit deeper this time. Sure. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh, you know, it's the lack of self-worth uh, perpetuated by the fact that I never feel like I'm doing a good enough job in anything I do because I'm so self-critical. What image makes me the most anxious? Okay. No, men worry me more than women, I think. And swipe. Hell yeah. Uh, crowds don't scare me, but planes scare me less than crowds. Like, ni neither of those give me anxiety, but... Oh, fuck. Nope, heights. Heights. I can't do heights. Even just looking at that drawing is like making my to toes curl a little bit. Like, mm -mm, nope. Drowning sucks. They both scare me, but oh, I've actually experienced the fear of heights. So that neither scare me again. Um, but that photo of the snake is scaring me. So I'm going to go with the snake. And then what? What else you got? Oh, hi, Dr. Hill. Ooh, ooh, I mean, guns are, but I feel like getting stabbed would suck. Getting shot would suck too, but being shot can be more instantaneous. Ooh, ooh, both make me anxious. Uh, I'm going to say cockroaches in this situation though. Looking at you, Dr. Hill, for some reason. Ho, oh, ho, clowns. Clowns, especially that. What the fuck is that? Who drew that? It's too good. Oh. Gore doesn't disgust me, though. I mean, it does, but, like, only that photo does. That photo gives me more anxiety than anything. Oh. <gasps> Animals. Did I startle you? Fuck. So sorry. Uh -huh. You're doing very well. Motherfucker. Don't be nervous. Not nerd. I wasn't until now. Oh, to you speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be and the more uh, enlightening you will find this experience. Yeah, but that's giving me anxiety. All right, fine. We'll we'll do a speed round. Spider. Done. Turn the page. 
Uh, needles. Fuck those needles. Done. Turn the page. No, I'm watching you. Done. Turn the page. Done. Turn the page. Oh, fuck. Nope. Clowns. Still clowns. Fuck clowns. Fuck them so hard. In, in, in the wrong way. Uh, nope. Do not fear dogs at all. Uh, I own two. Uh, of different sizes, and I've been around very, very large dogs. Uh, nope, still needles. I actually find storms very calming. Turn the page. Turn on the page. This is very interesting. Yeah. Thank you for answering so diligently. You're welcome. That's what I do. Spiders. Yeah. Clowns, yeah. And needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> That wasn't funny. <laughs> <I don't laughs> well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Is your existence just to, to, to terrify me? Is that what you do? Is that what this is? Oh my goodness, no. Not about it. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are enjoying this little movie experience, please let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe if you wanna see more of my face on a regular basis, and I will see you guys in the next video.